Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at update number two of my Benchmade 940 Osborne collection. So we're going to go ahead, take a look around, see what I have, see where it started, see where it's been over the last few years, and where possibly it might be going. So stick around, hit the like and subscribe button, and let's get into it. So this one, this is my pride and joy from 20 years ago, year 2000. This is the first production run, number eight of a thousand. This was a 940S, so it was a 940 serrated blade. You can see it's been resharpened several times. I've carried it for years and years. It has the original Benchmade Osborne logo. It's got the beautiful blade steel on it, the 154CM. Of course, worn Osborne design. This is kind of where it all started. This is the original look. It's got the purple titanium anodized backspacer, the aluminum scales that break in so nicely. And of course, the Benchmade original pocket clip stamped Benchmade USA. Now, let's go ahead and put this one off to the side. Let's look at one that came after that. And this is gonna be a coated version of the same knife. And of course, you gotta get your name lasered on it because that's the cool stuff right there. You can see this still has, even on the coated blades, they still had the bench, original Benchmade logo with the butterfly antenna. I love that. A little bit different clip on it, which is cool. You can see how this one's broken in very nicely. A lot of that coating's gone away. Still with the 154 CM. Another solid user of mine. Got to just keep on using those knives. Great. Aluminum. Same backspacer on that one as well. Just a little bit different version that came out. Then they went ahead and stepped up and did the 940-2. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The 942. Now, this one's a modified one. So it gives you the visual appearance of what I'm talking about. So you have black aluminum scales. You have the blue anodized titanium backspacer. You have the Benchmade USA clip. You have the reverse Tonto blade on this one. Now this has the newer logo. This has a different blade. It had been rebladed in S30V, but this is the look you would get on a 942. So pretty cool with the aluminum scales in black. I really dig that as well. Put that one off to the side. Then they went ahead and stepped things up. Now, this one I've added a little bit of stuff to, but they went ahead and put out the 940-1, and that's in carbon fiber. S30V blade steel on this one. Still worn Osborne design. A beautiful knife. As you can tell, these are users, so this one I put the mini deep pocket carry clip on it and put some blue thumb studs on it. But overall, you can see st still has the reverse Tonto blade, and it just gives it that beautiful look with blue barrel spacers, that beautiful carbon fiber. This one's so, so awesome to use. I carry this one a lot. So we'll put that one over here as well. Now, another one that they went with was the 940-2. So it's the next one after the 940-1. They went with G10 on the scales. They stayed with the reverse Tonto blade. And you can see now the, the antenna, the antenna has disappeared off the butterfly. It's the newer logo. It's in the S30V blade steel. This one's a prototype. But you still have the Benchmade USA clip when these came out, so that's pretty cool. Now, the 940-2 came with the green barrel spacers and black G10 scales. So I like that, that's pretty cool. The G10 scales on these really kick it up a notch. You're not gonna get the, the marring or the marks and things like that that you would on the aluminum. So a lot of people like that. Easy to clean, easy to use in many situations. So it was kind of a cool upgrade that they did that one as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at another one that came in line after that. And they started getting into some exclusives. So this one right here, is the Knifeworks exclusive that they did in 2015. 
This one's the 940-1501. You have that beautiful blue and black G10 layering. And of course, they stuck with some of the, the similar lines on the original 940. Now, that did give it a little bit different on the blade steel. So on this one, you can see they went with the CPM 20 CV. Still have the reverse Tonto blade. This is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. And now, of course, this has a deep pocket carry clip on it. Basically, one of my favorites, like I said. I like this one. Blue and black G10. Would have been nice if they went with, uh, you know, like, black liners on that but you'll see that as kind of a pattern on several of these knives so there's obviously some thought behind it as well so we'll put that one up there now after that one they went ahead and released another exclusive and they went with cabela's and this is a beauty you guys this is carbon fiber and stabilized wood and a d2 blade steel now d2 you're thinking man on such a beautiful knife why would you go with D2? That was something that Cabela's worked out with Benchmade when they did the exclusive. They do a lot of their exclusives in D2 blade steel. It's just what they order. So you can always get this rebladed. You could always, you know, get a hold of Benchmade, send it in, get a different blade put on. But either way, if you take care of this one, it's going to take care of you. Um, they did have a company that was called Diamond Wood, you know, that did a lot of these scales, the stabilized wood. That's no longer there, so they. I don't think you can get these. Well, I think actually this one is still on the website. So as I'm posting this, March of 2021, this one is still on the Cabela's website and available. So if you like that carbon fiber and that wood look, it's definitely a solid one to pick up. So this one is still available, which is pretty cool, especially for an exclusive from 2016. Uh, 940-1601 is the model number. So let's go ahead and check out another one. This is, is another one of my favorites, you guys. You guys know that 940 Osborne is one of my favorite knives. This one right here is the Going Gear exclusive. It means a lot to me. There was a lot of effort put into this knife to make it happen. And, you know, God bless the person that put all the work into this. Hopefully you know the story behind it. If you don't, get in touch with me. I'm happy to share it. But you can see that beautiful red thumb stud, the red barrel spacers, and of course the beautiful, beautiful G10 with the red C-Tech inlay. It just pops all over. That C-Tech is amazingly beautiful. Now this one unfortunately is not available. It was the Going Gear exclusive from 2017. The model number is 940-1701 and it's in the 20 CV blade steel. Man, I love this one. I carry this one a lot too. It is one of my favorites. So we'll put this one over here as well. Now, they did a little throwback on the next one. This is another exclusive they did in 2017. And this is the REI exclusive, which is also still available today. So the Cabela's one is available and this one is available today as well. I really like that this one's available. It's got a dark green G10. So hopefully you can see that color right there. And it's got a throwback because it's got the purple barrel spacers. Kind of an ode throwback to the original 940 right there. So I really like how they did that. You know, they, they did the color pattern the same. Now on this one, reverse Tonto as well. An S30 blade steel, S30V. It's a solid knife. You get that G10 strength. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. None of that. You can rinse it off, clean everything out. You're good to go. Keep using it. I like that one. That one's the 940-1702 REI exclusive. Available still as of today when I'm posting this. Now, a beauty, true beauty that came out in 2018 as an exclusive. Now this was an international exclusive. This you guys is a beautiful, beautiful knife. Now, I don't know if you've seen many of these. You have that kind of uh, yellow backspacer 
that's anodized. You have that beautiful kind of almost a turquoise green blue color for your anodized scales. They are aluminum. You have that polished split arrow pocket clip, as we know is one that Warren Osborne himself designed, which is really, really awesome. You have the Damasteel blade. This is a limited edition. It was an international exclusive. It was made here in the USA by Benchmade, sold on the international market. Now, this right here is a beautiful, beautiful knife. I've had very, very limited use in carrying this one. It is, and I think it's an Odenheim pattern on that Dama Steel blade. And you know the quality that Dama Steel has. So this is a hard one to find. Very, very awesome. Was able to pick this one up and get it into my collection. This is the 940-1801. Man, also aluminum scales, but just beautiful, beautiful blade. Now, 2019, well actually we have one more for 2018. So 2018, we had another beautiful, beautiful exclusive pop-up. This one is from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. M30, or I'm sorry, M390 blade steel. And you have that beautiful kind of contoured scale, carbon fiber, red resin infused. You have kind of the smoky gray barrel spacers, deep pocket carry clip with that pop of red as a thumb stud coated blade this one i've carried this one a lot and i really really enjoy it it's easy in and out of the pocket very very smooth the m390 cuts amazing Whew, i love that one so that one and the international one are not available as of today any of these other ones that you see that are not available today the secondary market be very 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 careful you guys a lot a lot of duplicates, um, fakes, pro, you know, things like that, that people are trying to pass off as the real ones. So please, please try to buy from a reputable dealer. Now, 2019, we had kind of a, oh, let's say just a, not a break, but we just kind of had a small recess. So it got people into thinking like, what can I do with my 940? And then you had companies like Rock Scale Designs that's like, you know what? Let's take some titanium and let's make some backspacers. Let's make some scales. Look at the milling, the directional milling on this scale for the 940. Now, this works on a 940-1 or 940-2 that has the barrel spacers. They sold aftermarket scales. You can see a little bit of the contouring there. So you have a little bit of a belly right here. And this one's been used, so you can see a little bit of the marring on the titanium. But it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. And I built this one off of a 940-2. And then, of course, they have the anodized one. But it gave, it gave you know a lot of people an idea to be like, hey, we can get these customized. There's so many great aftermarket scale makers out there and manufacturers. Just so many different things you can go do with your knives. So you can start taking your knives that are, you know, G10 with these barrel spacers and start turning them into knives like this with titanium. And you're like, man, those are fantastic. So anyways, 2019 really kind of kicked off the, hey, what do we do? What can we get into? This is one option that was out there. Still sold today over on his website, which I will link down below, which is pretty cool. I'll put a couple of uh, websites in there that you can look for those aftermarket scales on. Now, 2020 came around and they were like, okay, recess is over. It's the 20 year anniversary of the Benchmade 940 Osborne. We wanna honor the 940, do a 20 year anniversary run. So they kicked off this limited edition in titanium. You kind of have the flat titanium scales very, very smooth, very amazing. Now this is a limited edition Osborne design. And of course this is an S90V reverse Tonto, but they put the red thumb studs on it. So you get that pop of color and you're like, man, this is terrific. Adds that little bit of weight to it. And then they popped in the red barrel spacers on this one and it just made them fantastic. So this knife overall, S90V titanium scales. This is the 940 
2001 limited edition kicked off the year 20 year anniversary of the Benchmade 940. So it's like, oh man, what else are we going to see out of Benchmade for this? So they were like, you know what? We're going to do a dealer exclusive and, you know, kind of get these knives only out to dealers that are making purchases through us. And they did one of my favorite 940s to date. And that is the 940 BK 2002. They went blue G10, black hardware, black barrel spacers. They left the access bar and the liners as satin, but they did the blade steel coated. You can see some use going on up there. You know, put this one to use for sure, but 20 CV blade steel, the black split arrow pocket clip. You guys know I love the blue and the black color combo. This one is one of almost a perfect example. Now, if they, if they, put the black liners and the black access bar in and sold this as like a, a production run, hint, hint, we're all in. We'll buy a whole lot of these. So hopefully Benchmade drops something like this for 2021. That would be awesome to see. But this is one of my favorite Benchmades so far. Again, this one was a dealer exclusive limited edition, um, or not a limited edition, a dealer exclusive. So it was really hard to find. You could only get them from dealers. And they are not available today, um, only on the secondary market. And still be careful of any sort of reproductions. So, man, I love that one. 20 CV, whew, blue G10. Now, they kicked it up another notch after releasing the first Thai scale knife in the 940 for 2020. And they said, how about another 940 limited edition for 2020 and they said let's do the 940 bk-2003 now the sapphire coated hardware i mean look at that beautiful the blue thumb studs the pivot all of that and you have like the matching barrel spacers you have a mini deep pocket carry clip on it but this titanium, a very, very beautiful black coated titanium. And of course, blade steel, they went with the 20, or I'm sorry, the S90V on it. And this is one that I still use. Beautiful color combo. I like it. You know, it's definitely, if you compare it to, you know, the one they came out with earlier in the year, you have, you know, your red combo, you have your blue combo. I like the blue combo. I like what they did with this one. So that was the 940 BK-2003. A beautiful one. A beautiful one. Then came Blade HQ. And Blade HQ's like, hey, we want in on this 20-year anniversary of the Benchmade 940 Osborne. So they said, you know us. We love our Jade Natural G10. And how about some M4? So they're like, let's do it right. Let's do it. So there it is. This one was an exclusive through, uh, I think it's going to be, it wasn't even labeled limited edition. It was just an exclusive uh, through Blade HQ. So you could get it only through them. They did a very fair price on these in my comparison. Um, you know, in some of the other runs that came out and other ones that are still available. This is a, Fairly priced one, decent for M4 and G10. I like it. Now, if you don't like the JG10, you can always dip it in some dye once you tear it apart. There's some ways to do that. This one's a little rough. Got to break that back in a little bit. But I like this one. I like they did that exclusive. Made it pretty, pretty sweet. Now, you're thinking, okay, that was an amazing year. 2020 celebrating the 20 year anniversary of the Benchmade 940 Osborne. What else could they do? And they were like, how about two things? How about let's do the 9400. We'll make an auto out of it. They went straight to the purple titanium anodized backspacer, the aluminum scales. They did the S30V. 
They did the coated split arrow pocket clip. They made it a push button auto and snaps so, so hard. It's got the lock on there. So if you're worried about the deployment, you can lock it up. Now this one's still available today. It is a regular production model. I would highly encourage you, if you have a Benchmade dealer nearby, check one of these out. Get it in hand. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty fantastic. So that was released also. And you're like, man, that's been an amazing year for the 940. What else can happen? And they're like, hey, you know what? 2020 is not over yet. Let's throw out the mini Osborne. The 945. Black with blue G10. Blue barrel spacers. You know, it had my attention right away. You know, they went with the S30V and a mini split arrow pocket clip. So if you check out the difference on those, you can see how just a little bit of difference between the full size and the mini clip on there. So because you're getting a mini knife, they're like, let's make a mini clip. And to me, I've been using this one a whole lot more than the mini bug out. You know, it's, it's a knife that really, really carries light. You can throw it on a pair of shorts. You can throw it in your pack. You can take it anywhere with you. And it's got that cool color combo, the black and blue G10. There's a production model. It is available still, so you can pick that up. And soon to be released, they're releasing a mini 945 Osborne in the green aluminum, and it's a manual. So they're doing a throwback to the original in the mini Osborne. You can't beat that. So for me, this has been an amazing, amazing 20 years of the Benchmade 945, or I'm sorry, the Benchmade 940 followed by the 945 right at the end of the 20 year anniversary. So it's like, how, how else can you just top that off? I want to know down below, what do you guys think of these thoughts right here? And the thoughts are, should we get the 940 Osborne in the custom knife shop? That's question one. Question two, do you think we will see any more exclusives for 2021 for the Benchmade 940? And if so, what do you think they should be of? So those are kind of my three questions to you. And I'm going to answer that in my opinion. I would say, yes, I would love to see the Benchmade 940 Osborne in the custom knife shop. However, I know there's been so many variants over the 20 years. It's going to be hard not to replicate one of those. So people that have a very limited run, you guys saw the red aluminum one I checked out. It was a very, very limited run of only like 50 knives that were made of that style. It's going to be hard not to replicate those when you do a custom knife shop and open it up for so many people. But I think they could do it. They're kind of doing that with the bug out right now. I think I'm ready. I think you guys are ready. What do I think would be a really sweet, sweet exclusive to see this year? I would like to see something. Make this blue, make this blue G10 one. All black hardware, all black liners. Make it a production model. It only came out as a dealer exclusive, so you're not gonna hurt anybody's feelings. That, to me, is one I think we should see this year as a production. Those are my thoughts. What do you guys think down below? Thank you for sticking out and joining me on this second update of my 940 collection. I hope to add some more coming this year if they come out with some. If not, I'm going to try to collect some of the ones of the past. They're very hard to get. There's a very large list of them. But anyways, you guys, make sure do something kind for someone. It really, really makes their day and it makes you feel so much better because you're really helping somebody out that needs it. Have a great rest of your day, but most importantly, take care.